American singer Tom Storms holds the Guinness World Record for the lowest voice of anyone on Earth. On March 30th, 2012, he produced a sound that was slightly more than seven octaves below the lowest note on a piano. The sound was so low, just 0.189 hertz, that his vocal cords, twice as long as those of an average adult male, would have been vibrating just once every five seconds. That's well into the infrasound range, below about 20 hertz, that's undetectable to human hearing. Although most musical instruments aren't designed to play outside our normal auditory range, for obvious reasons, some can produce infrasonic notes. One of these is the octo bass, a gigantic version of the double bass. The first octo bass, built in Paris around 1750 and now on display in the Musée de la Musique, has three strings and stands three and a half meters, 11 and a half feet high. A system of levers and pedals connected to metal clamps on the neck enables the player to fret the required notes while bowing in the conventional way. Only four functioning octo basses exist in the world today, and only one, owned by the Montreal Symphony Orchestra, is occasionally used in performances. Large pipe organs can go down to C-1 or 8 Hz, which may seem pointless. However, just because we can't hear something that low doesn't mean we can't be affected by it. In 2002, a live experiment called Soundless Music was carried out to explore the psychological effects of infrasound. Under the guise of a concert featuring a variety of electronic and deep bass sounds, an infrasound generator was incorporated into the mix. Afterwards, the audience members were asked to describe what they experienced. Many people reported feelings of anxiety and foreboding, along with cold and tingling sensations. French scientist Vladimir Gavreau became a pioneer of infrasonic research following his unexpected encounter with ultra-low sounds in 1957. He and his team of acoustical engineers were working in a large concrete building when the group began experiencing bouts of nausea, which at first were assumed to be due to chemical fumes or some pathogen in the air. Weeks of investigation revealed the true source of the problem, a loosely mounted low-speed motor. The team built special equipment to detect the vibrations from the motor and eventually tracked the cause of the nausea down to seven cycle per second infrasound waves. These waves from the motor induced a resonance in the ductwork and structure of the building which amplified the original sound and led to its unpleasant physiological effects. The discovery triggered a wave of research into building acoustics in the ultra-low frequency regime. Today, it's routine in new architectural schemes to test for and eliminate any infrasonic resonances and use soundproofing where needed, along with materials with special sonic properties.